Hey guys, it's Mary. Thanks for stopping by. So yesterday I got my paper pumpkin kit from Stampin' Up! this September 2024. Um, then I realized when I got it that I never showed you what August looked like. So at the end, I will show you August um, because uh, sometimes they're still available. Uh, if you subscribe, Peppa Pumpkin, if you're not aware, is a subscription, a uh, monthly subscription, but you can cancel, you can uh, skip a month, anything like that that you want to do. Um, I signed up for the monthly um, plan, and so um, I think it's $24.99 uh, plus tax, but no shipping. They also have a I think a six month plan and a 12 month plan. Um, and the price goes down, obviously. Um, and you can still, you know, choose uh, to skip if you want. Um, the thing that I've liked about it is that um, you make nine cards, three of each design, but depending on how they're just the cards are designed, you can make the card into a card base and then you get double the cards. Plus, it's a quick, easy, um, you know, if you go on vacation, you want to take something with you. Um, if you've got, uh, forgot something, um, a birthday or an anniversary or whatever, uh, then you can just whip a card out real quick. And they're cute. And um, so, they always come with a coordinating stamp set. This one, obviously, it's going to be fall. And it says sending autumn wishes your way with thanks, uh, thinking of you. Um, and then it's got some leaves. Um, I don't know what that's called. I guess it's like a berry, berry bush. Um, then it always comes with a color spot, which is a great way I have found of getting their inks. Um, this one's called Cajun Craze. Um, and so each one comes with a different color uh, that coordinates with the kit. And I mean, you can't uh, beat it. It's like, I mean, if to buy one of the, uh, a, a little ink, mini ink cube is like usually four dollars or something um like with um pink fresh stampin up or sometimes you can't get them individually you have to buy a set of four so i've been getting quite a little bit of a collection so let's get the box out of the way all right so like i said this one is Autumn, and it's called Autumn Abundance. And it's got these three uh, different cards to make. And I just think they're so pretty, especially like this one. So you get your instructions. You get um, your little glue dot or foam dots. Normally you get a um, a little roll of double-sided adhesive tape. This one didn't come with one, and I'll look at the contents to see if maybe they missed it, or maybe it doesn't come with each one. All right. If only I could get it out of here. All right, so this is the instructions. That's a little um, diagram that they 
uh, put in to show um, what the stamp looks like. All right, so this is the content. So it does, doesn't look like this one came with um, the double-sided adhesive. It does look like, like I am missing something. Oh no, they're there. Okay, there we go. Those are glue dots. At first, the first time I got one, I didn't realize what they were because they have um, a cover over them that um, has words and stuff. So it was pretty funny. It's like, hmm, what is this? All right, so they show you um, what's inside. They also show you, um, this is like an add-on kit. And the add-on kit actually goes for um, three months. So the leaves would be for this month, uh, the August that I haven't shown you yet, goes with the hooray, hooray. And then this one was for the July. But you don't need to order them. So then it gives you a full set of instructions on how to put um, everything together. This one looks like it's uh, layered so that you stamp and do everything underneath and then put this, or you stamp underneath, then you put this layer on and then you build. Got the little snail, the little wood, the mushroom. So that's card number one and then card number two. And see, now this is what I'm saying with this one. The card here, if you cut it in half, you'll get two card fronts. So you can get double your cards. And then this is number three. All right, so... You could do the same thing with this one too. You can cut it so this is a card base and then this is a card base. You wouldn't be able to make the same card, but you would still be able to, you know, use your stamps and whatever extras were left over. So, all right, so you get your, we've got our stamp, we've got our pad, ink pad, Blue dots, double-sided uh, adhesive foam. We've got our little uh, bases. So let's see what all comes with each one. Oh, and then the matching envelopes, which I always think are just so, so cute. So we've got those, and then we've got these envelopes. Whoops. All right. So these are tiny little cards, this particular one. It goes with this set. And then these are regular size. Oh, I love, I just realized, hopefully you can see it. There is gold foiling on these little uh, little branches here. So pretty. So that goes with this envelope. And then the wood also has the gold foiling. And so you can slice that right down the middle and then you have two card bases. All right, so then we get all the leaves the snail. Each one of these is for one card. 
with the mushroom. So that goes to this card. Then we've got this to go with the wood. And then this goes with the one with all the different colors on it. And then this is for you to stamp your sentiments on. Here and here, and then the circles for here. So you get a lot in the kit, and like I said, you can stretch it out even more by um, cutting the cards in half. And then there are refill kits um, that you can get if you're interested. Oh, this is just so pretty. So this must be, I wonder if this is the same color, Cajun. So this will go under here like this. Once decorated. So, so pretty. They really do a good job of designing these and getting them together. All right, so that's the September one. It just, just got delivered. Let me put this aside and then I'll quickly show you August one that we missed, that I missed showing you. So let me know in comments if you uh, subscribe or uh, subscribe before to Paper Pumpkin, or you are a current subscriber. I will put a link uh, in the description um, if you're interested in finding out more information. So this one is it's called Time for Cake. And it is a birthday kit. And this one comes with Knight of Navy ink spot. It comes with all of these stamps. Uh, make a wish, lost count, it's time for cake. Happy birthday. And then some, this one says celebrate some balloons, candles, three different size candles. And then it also comes with a bonus of the numbers. So that's a real nice size. All right. They always wrap them up in tissue nicely. Oh, this one has a lot of goodies in it. Got a lot of the colors. All right, let me put this one on the side. And it makes the, it's time for cake. And here's that hurrah that I said that you, was part of the extra die set that you can get that will have dies for the, three months at a time. Um, we've got the make a wish, happy birthday, hurrah, it's time for cake. How cute that is. All right, let's get this one open and take a, a peek. Maybe. Clearly my, um, clearly my scissor skills are off today. Who knew? All 
I think I'm in love with this rope type little spool thing. I don't know what that is, but it's copper and I'm in love with it. I don't know, but I'm in love with it. All right. All right, so we've got our stamp set. We've got our basic um, ink spot, double or the foam. I love their uh, foam squares because they don't have a whole lot of loft to them. They're, they're just perfect, um, I think. All right, so let's take a look at the instructions on this one. Wait. So they make these so that if you, you can buy the cases that Stampin' Up! always uses for their um, stamps and uh sets and so since these come in boxes if you want to get the um the little snap container looks like a dvd container uh then you put this in there so that you can see what that um what what's inside stamp wise and then they also have you can print um a wrap that goes around it that looks like this. And then you can store it easily on a shelf. All right, so here's the instructions for the card, first card, and it looks like it's a trifold card. And then card number, lots of steps in this one, but still simple. It even shows you how you're folding the card. And then the cake. That cake is just so cute with the little fork and the little um, sparkle like that's supposed to be on the candle. And then this balloon one. And then this is uh, it just uh, shows you everything that you'll be using for each each card. So that little copper uh, rope goes on. Looks like card one and card three. And then again, it shows you the contents. And if you didn't buy the die, it's in the kit as a punch out. So, all right, so here's all of the balloons. All right, let's look at this. So we've got the envelopes. The card bases. This is the card um, number one that um, folds and it's already scored, so easy peasy. And then, oops, let me look here. What goes with what? All right, so this and this go together with this envelope and the cake goes with this envelope. And then this is the base 
for our balloons, which see, you can cut those in half. This one, no. This one you can, easy peasy. And then we've got, this is the layers of our cake. Our little glue dots, look at how many, the hurrah that goes with the cake. The banners and tags for your sentiments. And then the balloons and the forks and the candles. And look at it, it's all gold foiled. So, all right, so that's time for cake. And I'm sorry I missed that one um, to show you. But like I said, the sometimes they're still available. And they always usually have add-on, uh, not add-ons, but um, refills so that you can get uh, more of the uh, consumables since you'll have the um, stamps left over after you make all the cards, so. All right, so that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. I will, uh, like I said, I'll put the um, uh, the link uh, for information in the um, description if you're interested. Um, let me know if you've used the paper pumpkins before, if you, if you, uh, have a subscription, a current subscription now, um, if you've ever heard of them, uh, if you like them, um, and if you use them, do you cut the cards that can be cut in half and make double out of them? Let me know. It gives you extra options, so... All right, so if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. If you haven't and you want to, you can easily hit that um, subscribe button. The bell, if you hit that, will send you notifications when there is a new video to watch. Also, the thumbs up is the like button, and that lets um, YouTube know that you like the video, and that weighs uh, big time with them. So, and then the share button, um, if you want to share with a friend, it's um, easier to hit the share button than it is to copy and paste the, uh, the link thing. So, all right, that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and happy crafting. Bye-bye.